Hello and welcome back to Rovers Track YouTube channel as I sit down to preview Rovers trip to Rotherham this Saturday. After an opening day win over West Brom and then succession in the Cup as Rovers beat Walsall 4-3, attention's now turned back to the league as Rovers look to make it two wins in two. Obviously I'm flying solo today so I'll just go for a quick preview of the game, look at the plays to watch, look at the opposition, look at the predicted 11 and look at the predictions. So before I start, remember to hit like, hit subscribe, do all that stuff. And you can also check out the On The Other Side video that came out yesterday and also the Preferred XI video that we're out at half two, sorry. So go and check that out as well as all the other content on the channel. So Rovers make the trip to Rotherham now. The first memory that comes to mind with Rotherham is last year's 4-0 defeat. At Rovers sat in a really good position. Rotherham come and caused a shock and the feeling is kind of the same in this one. Rotherham lost on the opening day, 4-1 to a resurgent start side, and then just scraped through in the cup on penalties against Morecambe on Tuesday. So they're definitely a side that need a win really to get the season starting, and they will be looking at doing it over Rovers after last time's success. You know, 4-0 back in January, probably Rovers' worst performance of the season. So the Rovers will definitely want to bounce back and get a good result in this one. In terms of Rovers, like I said, two wins to start the season. A very much changed side on Tuesday night. In fact, 11 changes. So Rovers still progressing. We're probably expecting 11 changes again as Rovers come back into it. If we just take a look at the predicted 11, so I've gone for the same team that started the West Brom game. So Pears in there, JRC right back, Kyum, Carter, Pickering, Travis Tronstad, Dolan, Smoddick, Mark and Dan Lennon. I'd like to see this team as well, as you'll have guessed by the preferred XI. I think Rovers need to keep some familiar, familiarity, especially with the lack of options that we have. You know, we might as well keep the same side when it's doing well. And I think the players deserve it. You know, Mark Andy had a few question marks over him, especially Ryan Hedges returning for this game. But Mark Andy made his impact the first game. He deserves that game time. And I'm glad to see him come on on Tuesday and keep himself ticking over, actually, in the few minutes that he got on Tuesday. Harry Leonard's going to leave, uh, lead the line, sorry. Sam Gallagher's back, but it's expected to be on the bench. So we're hoping to see Leonard go again. And do you know what? He deserves that chance. He was really good the first day. Should have probably had a hat-trick, like we mentioned. But really positive performance from him. So I'm hoping to see Leonard involved again. And I imagine John Dahl will pick him. In terms of the bench, I'd like to see Zach Gilsain and come on as well. And I think he will after a really impressive performance Tuesday. I think he'll definitely be part of the travelling squad, whether he's that 21st man that doesn't make the squad, I don't know. But I hope he's involved because he's really impressive. Leo Volstead will probably be on the bench as well following his move. So I'm glad to see him around the Rovers squad for the first time. But I think that will be what John Dollar go for. So we'll just go over it again. It's Pace, Jersey, Hyam Carter. Hyam and Carter obviously forming a brilliant partnership recently. Uh, Pickering left back, Travis Tronstad, Dolan Smodix, Mark and Dale Leonard. You can also let us know down below the XI you think Rovers will use. And then, like I say, if you go and visit that preferred XI video, go and tell us uh, what you'd like to see Rovers do. Rovers, like I say, lost on the opening day, but still a lot of talent, although injuries are holding them back. Grant Hall, Andre Green and Ben Wiles are all in contention, but have not, so it's unlikely they'll be raced. While Shane Ferguson, Jamie Lindsay and Lee Peltier are all out. One player who will reta return for Rotherham is Cafu. Not the Brazilian man, the Portuguese midfielder was sent off in their opening day defeat to start. Very controversial red card as well. It should never have been. Uh, but he should be back after serving a suspension against Morecambe midweek. So he'll be a definitely back in the side for them. They are a side full of talent. Like I said last year, they shocked us in terms of how well they performed. Uh, when they beat us, Rovers were very... You know, Rovers didn't help the case on the day, but Rotherham weren't bad by any stretch. And although they lost the likes of Ben here this summer, they've still got a lot of talent and it's one we've got to go into. And I think be prepared for it. You know, don't go in expecting two wins. Don't go in being disappointed if we get a draw. I personally take a draw, but I think Rovers can go and get a win in it. We'll come on to prediction soon. But you look at all the players that they've lost this summer. You know, Wes Harding, Og Ben here. Richard Wood kind of Washington plays that have been around the club for quite a bit. So definitely, you know, a lot of change there. But the likes of Fed on your dimmer coming in, who was up Luton Town, Cafu, Andre Green had a really good time as a trialist at Rotherham. And if he can be involved in the squad, he'll definitely add something to them. But Rotherham coming to this game, needing a win. And I think they'll try and respond to Rovers in terms of that. But we'll have to see what happens. Just in terms of predictions now, we'll go into the predictions league. There won't be any uh, predictions from our contributors today, but we will update them afterwards if we just take a look at uh, the contributors' predictions league so far. So Mike BT out in lead with nine after getting a correct result and a goal scorer against West Brom. 
and then a result. Then you've got Dom, Harrison, Scott, myself and Mark, who have all got two all, uh, two games right, uh, two results. Sorry, while Jack Whitaker and Sam have just got one right. Now, just a reminder in terms of the viewer predictions that you get five points if you get the score correct, two if you get the right result but not the correct score, and two for every score that you get right. So we can see with the viewer's predictions that Daniel Seward and Simon Payne still lead the table on seven points. You've got Steve, Richard, Autumn, Carl and Adam on four, and the rest on two. So definitely get your predictions down below and put your score as well to get bonus points. But that's where we round off. Thank you very much for watching. Just a quick a uh, preview there is Rovers make the trip to Rotherham. Check out the preferred XI video and also the On the Other Side with Matt Lax from the New York Talk podcast. Really good insight into Rotherham. And we'll see you soon for a new video as all the reaction comes out on Saturday and Sunday.